Hello wrestling fans, Jonathan Karens here for Red Rock Rewind today. We got an epic match. We've got the former Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Champion Lincoln Steen takes on stunning Steve Arsenault. Hello wrestling fans, on this episode of Red Rock Rewind, we have one of the most popular wrestlers in the Maritimes taking on the former Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Lincoln Steen, stunning Steve Arsenault. What is your strategy tonight? Well, tonight I face Lincoln Steen, who is the walking, talking embodiment of a troll doll. To Lincoln Steen, the word hygiene simply means another word he can't spell. But the fact is, Lincoln Steen is a former Red Rock Champion. And if I beat him here tonight, then that proves not only do I deserve to hang with the big boys, that deserves maybe a title shot? I don't know. What do you think? Do you think I'm deserving? Oh, a absolutely, shot? Mr. Arsenal. You're right up there for a title shot at the Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. All I need is one shot, and Steve Arsenal is going to stun you. Hello, wrestling fans. I'm joined here today by the former Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Lincoln Steen. Today, Mr. Steen, you take on stunning Steve Arsenal. I hate it when you refer to me as the former champion. There's nothing more that I want than the Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. And if I have to go through this Steve fella to get it, well, that's just what I'm going to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Factory Cookhouse and Dance Hall proudly brings to you an evening of Red Rock Wrestling. is sponsored today by our friends at Naturally Fit. And also, well, the sharp dressed man beside me, our referee for the opening match is Mr. Zach Doyle. All right, introducing first for our opening match. He hails from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, weighing in at 235 pounds, the former Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Lincoln Steve. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Cowboy Mike Hughes, and I have a new job today. Today, I'm going to be sitting in commentating with Jonathan Cairns, and I'm going to hold down the fort right now until Jonathan Cairns gets back. Uh, Lincoln Steen coming to the ring right now. I'm no stranger to this man. Me and this man have battled all over Prince Edward Island, and we've battled all over the Maritimes. This man is a great technical wrestler that just has no moral values whatsoever, and he would get more credit. You know, if he just stuck to his uh, technical ability and just went out and wrestled to the best of his ability. But he cannot seem to stay the course. Lincoln Steen has to take... If he had a chance to steal a nickel from you or work for 10 cents, he'd steal a nickel for sure. Lincoln Steen is a crafty individual. And whoever's getting in the ring with him tonight better make sure they know that Lincoln Steen will do anything he can to pull out a victory here tonight. Even Jonathan Cairns is keeping an eye on Steen. He doesn't really trust him. Keep him to the other side of the ring. But again, I can't take it away from Lincoln Steen. He is a great technical wrestler. Lincoln Steen knows his way around the ring. He's been in the business probably 15, 16 years, whatever it is. And his ring is trade well. Steve Arsenault is going to make his way to the ring right now. 
This is a great young talent that Red Rock Wrestling has acquired. This guy's in great shape. He's got great cardiovascular, and he's starting to learn the game pretty well. He's fairly new to the business, maybe five or six years, but he's finally made his way to where the big boys play, and that's right here on Red Rock Wrestling. Everybody in the world wants to be a part of Red Rock Wrestling. Jonathan Cairns is always telling me as champion, he is getting inquiries from all over the world. People not only wanting to challenge me for my title, but just to step foot in the Red Rock Wrestling ring. You know, the, it's infamous these crowds uh, right here at Stratford Arena. They're so loud, the energy here is incredible, and every wrestler around the world wants to be a part of this energy. And Steve Arsenal tonight, he's going to get a chance to feel that energy, and he's going to get a chance to get in the ring and impress the fans of Red Rock Wrestling and impress the president, John Cairns, and maybe get himself a contract here in Red Rock Wrestling. Well, Cowboy Mike Hughes, Jonathan Cairns here. And thank you so much, champ, for holding down the fort. Jonathan Cairns here with the Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Cowboy Mike Hughes. And we're going to have a dandy match today here on Red Rock Rewind. We have the former Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Lincoln Steen, and his opposition is stunning Steve Arsenal. Cowboy, who do you like in this, in this match? You know, you can't take away from Lincoln Steen. Lincoln Steen knows every trick in the book. And he's a technical wizard. He is. But Steve Arsenal is hungry, and he's looking to get a job here in Red Rock Wrestling. And this guy, look at the condition he's in. You know, Steve Arsenal is a great athlete who is in fantastic condition. You know, listen to Lincoln Steve. You know, won't even give the young guy his opportunity here in front of the crowd. So, you know. Let's hear it for Steve, baby! Yes, quite a difference in the, uh, the crowd's opinion of stunning Steve and Lincoln Steve. And I think the crowd has made it well known right now who they'll be cheering for in this matchup. Today's episode of Red Rock Rewind brought to you by the Factory Cookhouse and Dance Hall. As I was alluding to earlier, Cowboy, quite a contrast in styles. You got the speed and uh, quickness of Stunning Steve against the slower, more methodical pace of a Lincoln Steen. Lincoln Steen has much more experience than Stunning Steve, but uh, the, the youth and the speed, the uh, high flying off the top rope could make the difference. I don't know, this is too close to call. And we have, a, you know, the number one official in the ring right now, which is always needed whenever Lincoln Steen is in that ring. Oh, absolutely. And Zach Doyle is just the man to keep an eye on him. Absolutely. Uh, Lincoln Steen, no stranger to stretching or outright breaking the rules. Nice arm, arm ringer by Stunning Steve. Now, this here, he's got himself in a wrist lock right now, and that creates so much pressure on the hands. Now Steen's reversed it, but if you don't have your hands and your wrists are sore, it's hard to get a body lock on somebody. It's hard to grab a hold on somebody if that wrist is aching. Another great reversal by Steve Arsenal right there. You want to get out of these wrist locks as quick as possible. If you don't have your hands, you can't grab people. You can't go for single legs. You can't take your own arm bars. And Steve Arsenal knows that. He's going to work on the arm right now of Lincoln Steele. We so much appreciate your insight, Cowboy Mike Hughes, a uh, wrestler of almost 20 years. I've been in and you've put on a lot of these holes. You can give us the insight on what it's like to apply the holes and the pain uh, that with the pain that you they get when you're when you're in these holes. So Lincoln Steen's smart. He knows that Steve's a quicker opponent. He tries to get him to the mat here as quick as possible. But Steve Arsenal, well educated in, in mat wrestling, and he's got himself back to his feet and he's in control right now. It's a nice headlock takeover by stunning Steve. Oh, got a two count on Lincoln Steen right there. And Steen putting the pressure on his chin, trying to reverse it. Look, he's got it reversed. Can he get it? And Stunning Steve maintains the, the, uh, the headlock on Lincoln Steen. Lincoln Steen throwing him into the ropes. Goes. Big shoulder tackle by Steve Arsenal. That's a power that we moved to earlier of uh, Stunning Steve. May not have the body weight, but he's certainly got a lot of strength. And the quickness. You know, he's quick to the ropes and he's quick back before Steen could get his feet in, square in front of him and doesn't quite have his balance and stabilize quite properly. Once again, Steve back to the wrist. Again, and Lincoln Steen is known for those German suplexes. If you can't get your hands locked, you can't get a chance to pop the hips and get that snap suplex that he has, that great German suplex. Steve Arsenal, you know, he's came into this knowing his game plan. And he knows if Steen's wrists and hands are sore, he's not going to be able to lock that on. Oh, absolutely, Cowboy. If you can take that, that uh, weapon out of the arsenal of, uh, of Lincoln Steen, that's one less thing he has to worry about. Now, a test of strength. Got a Greco-Roman knuckle lock here. These two are going to battle, push against each other. This 
can can create problems in the shoulder. You can see as Steve is pushing back, all the pressure is on the shoulder. And the shoulder is the most unstable joint in the human body. And you know, these two are gonna test who's got the most strength right here. You, know, you separate your shoulder, dislocate your shoulder, you will not be able to finish a wrestling match. And look at the agility of stunning Steve, but they still maintain this test of strength. The body weight of Lincoln Steam versus the agility and speed that you alluded to earlier of Stunning Steve. Uh, very competitive uh, test of strength. Oh, Lincoln Steam thought he was perhaps losing it, so he takes the easy way out and knees him right in the stomach. Like I alluded to earlier, Steve Arsenal has his work cut out from just keeping on top of Lincoln Steam. And look, look at that agility of Stunning Steve again. Kicks him right in the head. Nice kick. You know, Steve Arsenal can fly at any time. And again. Lincoln Steen with those dirty, dastardly tricks. Had to push the referee. He probably should have been disqualified. Zach Doyle, though, he knows that the fans here want a decisive winner. He let that go once, but if he does that again, I'm pretty sure Zach Doyle will disqualify him. Absolutely. That was, and you know what? Notice how Lincoln Steen did that. He made it look like it was perhaps an accident. Zach Doyle gave him the benefit of the doubt. He probably won't do that a second time. Big headbutt to the kidney area by Lincoln Steen. Going for the cover. And a two count. This is where Steen is dangerous, when he gets you to the mat. He's not gonna outquick you, and you know, not everybody he's gonna outpower, but when he gets you on the mat, he knows how to maintain control. He knows how to use that body, what, not as beautiful as it may not be, <laughs> but he knows how to use it for leverage. And right now is a good example. Lincoln Steen knows that this chin lock might not finish him, but when you put pressure on the crowd around these, it's gonna take your oxygen away. I'm Cowboy Mike Hughes. I'm a professional wrestler. I've gone through extensive training and I am a professional. Kids, don't try this at school, don't try this at home, don't try this anywhere. Red Rock Wrestling would like to thank our proud sponsors bringing you this episode of Red Rock Rewind, The Factory Cookhouse and Dance Hall, Q93, Quick Copy Printing, Naturally Fit, the Tech Guru and McDougal Steel Erectors who make this episode and Red Rock Wrestling possible to bring to you the best wrestling fans in the Maritimes. My name is Titus and you're watching Red Rock Wrestling. Jonathan Cairns here with the Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Cowboy Mike Hughes, and we're back here at the Stratford Town Hall Gymnasium. Lincoln Steen versus Stunning Steve Arsenal, and Lincoln Steen is in control right now, and Lincoln Steen doing what he does best when he gets an opponent down. He is relentless. He's still got that pressure on the crowd already. He's taking away the blood flow to the brain. He knows that he keeps him down there. It takes away Steve's quickness. Steve is back to his feet right now, breaking free. Oh, nice knee to the red basket. This, this is what, when, you, when you're taking away the oxygen to the brain and then you take away the lungs by a knee to the stomach like that and get the wind knocked out of you, Lincoln Steen knows what he's doing. He wasn't a former real Red Rock wrestling champion for nothing. That's right, he held that title for over a year. And it's like you alluded to, Cowboy, he is taking away the oxygen for Stunning Steve, so that takes away his quickness, and that uh, is an advantage to once Lincoln Steve. Once again, right back on the mat, and he's got that pressure on the crowded arteries again. He's got that, uh, you know, he's got, it's not a chokehold. The referee's right there. People think this is a chokehold. It's not. You see the elbow is under the chin. It's clean for once, which is surprising for Steve, but he's got the pressure on the crowded arteries right now, which is taking the blood away from your brain. When you can't think, your body can't use those limbs, and body parts to mount an offense. Well, Cowboy Mike, you, you know Lincoln Steen as well as anyone else, and Steen is quite capable of winning a match without cheating, but he still, nevertheless, resorts to any means necessary to win. Steve Arsenal's not done. No. He's still in this fight. He's, he's not ready to give up yet. Steen's doing a great job of going, but there's a lot of fight left in Steve Arsenal. No, I've seen st stunning Steve wrestle many times. He's got a lot of intestinal fortitude. Heck, he's even teamed up with you before, Cowboy. Gets him with a roll-up. Can he get the three count? Steve oh, Arsenal's quickness again. He can come out at any time and get a pinfall, but Lincoln Steen is right back in control right now. Look at the arrogance of Steen. Absolutely. He could be right on Steve Arsenal right now, and he probably could get a pinfall or applying a hold that would lead to one just a little bit of time, but not Lincoln Steen. The arrogance of that man. Well, that's, that's on the schedule report of Lincoln Steen. He does take too much time sometimes to mount the, the crowd. Look at this feat of strength. He's holding them up there for upwards of 10 seconds or longer. Look at that. As the blood drains to the brain of uh, Stunning Steve and big vertical suplex. You know, Lincoln Steen, once again, that body, you look at it, you don't think much of it. 
but that body does have some power. He's got some good power in his hips, like his German suplex and that vertical suplex. Lincoln Steen is surprisingly powerful, surprisingly. Well, you know as well as anybody, you've had wars with that man in the ring. And again, goes back to that chin lock. So that's a sign of a great wrestler. He wears, works on a body part, and he wears it down and wears it down. He's working on the neck and keeping the blood flow to the brain. And Lincoln Steen is a technician. He doesn't look like it. You see that fuzzy hair, <laughs> that ratty looking goatee, and that body that's more resembling of a bag of milk than a professional athlete. But Lincoln Steen knows what he's doing in that ring. Absolutely. You don't become Red Rock Wrestling Champion by accident. And more important than that, you don't keep the belt for a year by accident. He's a highly, highly skilled professional wrestler. And but Steve Arsenal's making a comeback here again. Oh, chin breaker. And what's he going to do? Setting him up for something. But no, there's, uh, oh, baited Lincoln Steen into the corner. Goes for a soup. Uh, oh, sorry, that was a clothesline. Shot to the belly right there, knocked the wind. Now another kick to the belly, knocked the wind. Look at the quickness of Steve Arsenal. And agility too, that, that standing drop kick. And now he looks like he's setting him up for something. And now the people completely behind stunning Steve. See, this is the difference in conditioning. When you're in that good a condition after being worn down, once you get the circulation and blood flow going again, you can recover quickly. And that's why you know athletes condition themselves like Steve Arsenal has. Absolutely. Look, people are so much behind Stunning Steve Arsenal, and now there's that power of Lincoln Steen, but reversal by Stunning Steve, setting him up for something. What's he going to do? And the people are firmly behind him, setting him up for like a tornado DDT. Big DDT, cover your man. This could be it right here. It, this is it. Steve Arsenal might have got himself a full-time job here with this victory right here. Oh, so close. What a feather in his cap would be to get to score a pinfall victory over the former Red Rock Wrestling heavyweight champion. That was milliseconds away. That You know, you couldn't even measure that on the clock. But Steen had the presence of mind to kick out. Once again, that veteran knowledge from Lincoln Steen. And I think a little bit of frustration right now in the young fellow and Steve Arsenal. Well, definitely. I think he should have been, well, went right here to Lincoln Steen, but still he took his time. Looks like he's setting him up for possibly that Steetopian driver. That's he's just that rookie mistake by Steve Arsenal, and now he's got himself in trouble. Uh, Steen took too long. Steve was able to get out of it, and oh, he caught himself. Steen thinks he's hit the floor, but he didn't. There's that agility again, the athleticism from Arsenal. So what's he gonna do? Flies from the ropes, high cross body. Hooks the leg, can he get him? This could be it. He got him! Cowboy Mike Hughes, that was a very, very impressive victory by stunning Steve Arsenal, pinning the former Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Lincoln Steen. Back and forth match, he saw the opportunity, hit the high cross body, got the one, two, three. Lincoln Steen can't believe it. He's in shock right now. Lincoln Steen has to be second guessing some of his tactics right now. He was a former Red Rock Wrestling Champion, now he just loses to a newcomer, and you know, he's frustrated, look at him. Trying to, blame, trying to blame referee Zach Doyle, but I'm sorry, Lincoln Steen, that was all you're doing. Once again, once again, Lincoln Steen is blaming somebody else for his shortcomings. Lincoln Steen, when, you know, he's always cheating, and when things don't go his way, he's always blaming somebody else. And that's not the way to victory. And that's why Lincoln Steen is on the end of it right now instead of a W in Red Rock Wrestling here tonight. What a great night of action, though, here for Red Rock Rewind. Great night of action. Absolutely, as it always is here on Red Rock Rewind. Jonathan Cairns with Cowboy Mike Hughes, the Red Rock Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Lincoln Steen has just found out everybody in the world that's a great wrestler in pro wrestling today wants to be a part of Red Rock Wrestling. And Steve Arsenal is just one of those fresh young faces that's coming into Red Rock Wrestling. And Lincoln Steen's gonna have to know, he's gonna up his, have to up his game if he's gonna be successful again here in Red Rock Wrestling. There, Lincoln Steen always worried about what the fans think. Always preoccupied with the opinions of the fans, and it cost him today, I think. The fans couldn't be happier to see Lincoln Steen pick up a loss here in Red Rock Wrestling tonight. Look at these fans, the greatest fans in pro wrestling. Look at that energy and that enthusiasm. And that's why we get all these fresh young faces in Red Rock Wrestling, because people want to be a part of this atmosphere. If you haven't been to a live Red Rock Wrestling show, get there.